SharePoint 2013 has some nice features right out of the box, and in this video I'm going to step through one of the tiles that is incorporated into the web part called Get Started With Your Site. Now, if you've got a fresh new SharePoint 2013 site, this uh, Get Started web part will be visible on your page. But if someone in your organization has hit the button to remove it, you can get it back very easily through the gear icon and then there's a, a link here under the menu called getting started that takes you to a page where this web part is listed so all of these uh, tiles are available right there on um, this page and if you like having it on your front page and you want to put that web part back on the page it is a web part so if you edit the page and go into the insert menu you can go into the web parts category, it's under media and content, and again it's called get started with your site. So that's an FYI in case you really do want that, um, the set of tiles right on your front page. All right, so in this video what I want to do is talk about the second tile in this grouping called working on a deadline, and it helps you to get organized with tasks, timeline, and calendar. So let's take a look at this. And one of the nice things about this particular tile is it not only adds what they're calling, uh, Microsoft calls it a project summary to your homepage, but it, it creates the list for you, the task list with a timeline, as well as a calendar, and it activates a site feature within your site settings. So you don't have to do this. Um, this is all part of this process. When you click this button, the site feature gets activated and the lists get built. So let's take a look. We've got a Gantt view of, of the timeline and it's showing February, March, and April, as we are today in February, as I'm recording this video. And there's nothing in the task list, so it's just a pretty much static web part right now. All right, so when we click the button to edit the task list, it opens up the page where we can start adding tasks. And it's a nice, simple, sort of an Excel experience here with uh, rows and columns. So we'll name a task, ooh, Valentine's Day is coming up. We're in February, so let's go ahead and make dinner reservations. And we'll do that probably by tomorrow. We don't want to wait too much longer for that to happen. And you can uh, assign it to someone. And the next row, we will do some, oh, look here. We have a little pop-up that says, the first one is on us. We added your tasks to the timeline. You can add other tasks through this menu. So any of the tasks that I want to appear on this timeline here, I can go ahead and add them. So let's go ahead and buy some flowers. And you'll notice as I uh, start adding things in here, you'll notice I'm not a very good typist. Let's do that on Friday because we want our flowers to be nice and fresh. And you can see that my name is rather long, so the nice thing about working in a grid like this is I can put my cursor in a cell and copy it so when I get to the next row, if it's uh, repetitive information, all I have to do is paste. So I want to also buy some chocolate. Let's do that Friday as well. And it's 2015, and of course I'll just do a control V to paste the name in that in that cell. And I also want to buy some champagne. Who doesn't want champagne, chocolate, and flowers on Valentine's Day? So it looks like on uh, Friday I will be going to the store quite a bit. Oh, look what I did. I uh, fat fingered that and SharePoint put it in red so automatically it shows something that's overdue in a bright red color. We can change it either through the calendar picker or I can just put my cursor in that and change it that way. All right, so we've got uh, four tasks added to our task list. Let's go back to our home page and take a look at this. So when we look at their home page now, that project summary has uh, a list, a task over here. Ooh, it automatically flipped to a different view. So it's got sort of a rotating feature to it, and that's the site feature that gets activated. And let me show you that um, if you're a site owner, you could see this under your site settings. So when you go into your site settings, you go to your manage site features, and it's down in the alphabetical order. It's called project functionality. So you'll find it there, and you'll notice that that was activated for me 
um, just by clicking that tile in the web part. So that's a very nice, uh, easy to use uh, function that you can add to your home page and hey, makes life easier for everyone. That's what SharePoint's all about, right?